Let me get myself together, bro. Let me not even force an intro, man. Y'all see it. Like, comment, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. We are getting into the diamond grind. I want diamond on the snipers first. How do you feel about Black Ops? How are you feeling about the game so far? Honestly, classic. Winner, 10 out of 10. The, basically, the title of this video, or not really the title, the, the premise and what I'm going for currently is diamond. So the next couple of videos, I guess, will be a diamond grind. I don't fucking know, my nigga. We just gonna play the game. Uh, <laughs> I just try to leave, bro. I just try to leave. That shit said, nope, return the game. Okay, man. All right, all right. Who's in charge of Call of Duty? It's not even Von Hart no more. That, that yapped too far. Bow, 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 bow. That got a switch on it. You see it? Nice track, man. To boom, to fly, bro. Just like him. Oh. Who runs the game? Von, is Von der Hart still involved? Is he still head honcho? Is he that bro when it comes to making decisions? Ah, bitch. In the Call of Duty circuit. Or is he just, you know, a, uh, a thing of the past? What's going on with Call of Duty and Treyarch and shit? I mean, I'm, I'm asking y'all, but I could honestly do my own research. People could just straight up get in that conversation and start lying to me, if I'm being honest. Yo, misinformation on the internet. People can't be believing in it, man. We gotta, we gotta get our together as a people, bro. It's gonna be vetting their sources. What I just did. Hey, man, tell me about... Stoop. Did them bloody right quick. Did them dirty right quick. I just basically put a bird call out to anybody who's whom whomever it may concern watching this video who may have some information in regards to Treyarch. And I put it out there. Hey, anybody know what's going on? Motherfucker could be like, yeah, nigga, Mark Wahlberg run that shit now, bro. Money could just straight lie to me. And if I was a gullible human being, I'd be like, oh, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch is taking care of Call of Duty. He's going to save it. One movie at a time, bro. You know what I mean? Yo, woke up today. I saw a, a Joe Rogan experience. I'm not subscribed. It was just in my recommended. Maybe because he interviewed the mother ex-president of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. It's just crazy to see. I thought that shit was AI at first. I'm not gonna lie. That did, that, that thumbnail looked fake. Conventional media is done. Elon Musk owns Twitter and Joe Rogan is interviewing Trump. Mm. What's next? Always somebody backstabbing, bro. Lil Dirk, man. Some bull bro i always had some crazy views when it came to that whole little dirk situation and not in the sense of like he needed to be like yo i spare for king vaughn bro you know what i'm saying i always like my view on what's going on in the inner city hold on hold on hold on man you suicidal you suicidal you suicidal hey i saw a comment in my section in my in my section yeah i saw a comment in my section bro and he was like yo you trying too hard to be funny bro i had Cause you don't know me it may come off like that but i promise you i just may be that corny to you it is what it is bro you just may not fuck with my comedy that's just me bro because i am whatever you say i am they just quoted eminem in 2024 hey but for real i'm i just i mean so yeah i'm pushing it i'm trying too hard my nigga i'm trying to be funny i'm trying to get through the day <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you niggas hey i'm trying to get through the day for real bro just like you man shit we all got 48. Ooh, all hearts beat. What was I talking about before I left? Mm, mm. Oh, Lil Dirk, man. I've had a view on the whole Sly for Von take since the inception of that whole situation, man. R.I.P. to King Von and his soul. I hope he's truly at peace and he's found it. And I, and I pray peace upon his family as well because that is a a scarred human being who you know did his best to in his later years get out there into uh i'm not gonna say spread a positive message but get out there and and make something of himself for him him and his family and then when that whole situation happened and he unfortunately lost his life and everybody was like damn what's what's little dirt gonna do and it's like well one he's a completely separate individual yeah he is his best friend and you slide for your family but then that just goes to the trauma of, of being black in the inner city and going through oh you don't like my you don't like my friend or you shot at my friend so now i'm gonna shoot at you so oh damn my chicken nuggets bro hold on hold on i'm preaching bro um without coming off as preachy it was it was weird to hear people who were either a fan of king von or they're antagonizing him because they were a fan of quando rondo they were either like a hey, sly for king von and they were being like satirical they're trying to call him pussy and they're basically trying to pull his card for pull his red card and be like yo you're not gonna go kill quando rondo so it's like okay 
do you like Wando Rondo? Because if you're saying go slide for Vaughn, you're trying to antagonize a dude to go kill the, the dude that you like. And if you like Lil Durk, you're trying to antagonize him to go kill somebody who he doesn't like possibly endangering himself and his family. To me, that just never like clicked in my head. No, you saw it. Like, it's, but, bro, like they are high profile folks at this point. It is completely different, man. So. I don't know much about the intricacies of the case. I, I saw a headline about, shout out to Cuff Boys, bro. He's come a very long way and his content has changed and he's made a, a pivot in a direction that is informative and I would say strictly factual. Uh, transcript, literally transcript written, more of a, a journalist in these streets now. Young Thug case, the Melly case, the X case. I mean, that was a pivotal one. That was a you know hard one, especially for him. He came up off of that era and in that era, I should say. Uh, a long landing cube and little skies, bro. Hey, little skies used to be that. That's a, that's another topic, bro. Oh, I, I should start writing topics down and then and then turning in, turning them into their own video, bro. I may do that. Hold on. What the? F I don't like this thermal, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Come on, reload, brother. Oh, amazing, bro. Dark, fucking trying to flee the country putting two or three flights out to different places and then trying to get on another one out to a certain i don't know where he's trying to get out to i forgot maybe like italy or some shit but yeah man it sucks to see another artist who was in his prime doing his thing just got a key to the city when i first people didn't gel with that by the way let's talk about it when he first got his key to the city people were not fucking with it and this comes directly after names uh i shall not speak of for the sake of not giving him clout if you know you know if you don't do your homework it hit different he got a key to the city of new york and along with the mayor mayor tomlin or whatever the milk dud head ass nigga whatever that nigga's name is who just recently got caught up in some crazy ass charges they both i mean the mayor he was the mayor of new york and he gave names who shall not be spoke of a motherfucking uh key to the city so it was like comes at the end of that it's Lil Durk getting one, people weren't really gelling with it. So for it to then be revoked uh, uh, amidst all of these charges, pulling out the vocabulary in his mug, um, and amidst all of these charges is kind of an interesting thing.